Step one, solve the centers. For the first step in solving the Rubik's Master, we're going to match the centerpieces. There are 24 centerpieces on a Rubik's Master that need to be grouped in sets of four. These will then form the six centers, like on the original Rubik's Cube. Hold the Rubik's Master so the white Rubik's logo is on the up face. Locate your next white centerpiece. Mine's here. At this point, it'll either be on the front face or on the down face. They're two slightly different algorithms. We'll start with the one on the front face. Position the white center so it's in the bottom right of the centerpieces. And on the up face, create a non-white space here so the top left is clear. And we follow this algorithm. Right, inside right, clockwise. Up, clockwise, and then the right and the inside right counterclockwise. As you can see, we have two centerpieces in position. Let's look at the white center on the down face. So we position it again in the bottom right of the centerpieces. We create a non-white piece on the top left here. Here's the algorithm. Right and inside right clockwise twice. Up clockwise and then the right and the inside right clockwise twice. As you can see, we're now three pieces in position. Let's find our last white centerpiece. It's here. I do the same as I did before. I just rotate the face. So it's in the bottom right corner. Create a space, which there already is here in the top left. Follow that algorithm again. Right, inside right, clockwise. Up, clockwise. And the right and the inside right, counterclockwise. As you can see, all four white centerpieces are now in position. We are now going to complete this for the other color faces. So we know that white is opposite to yellow. So we put the white on the down face. And we know that this is now going to be our yellow centerpieces. So we find the yellow centerpiece to move into position. Just rotate it around so it's in the bottom right of the centerpieces. We've already got a non-yellow piece on the top left. We follow this algorithm. Right, inside right, clockwise. Up, clockwise. And then the right and the inside right, counterclockwise. Now we have two pieces together. Find our next yellow centerpiece. It's here. Rotate the face. So it's in the bottom right corner. Create a non-yellow piece in the top left. Follow that algorithm again. Right, inside right, clockwise. Up, clockwise. And then the right and the inside right, counterclockwise. We're now three pieces in position. Our white's not been affected by the move that we've done. We follow, we find our next yellow centerpiece. It's here. Put it in the bottom right corner. Create a non-yellow piece in the top left. Follow that algorithm again. We follow this algorithm. The reason that we do this is as we turn the right and the inside right clockwise, move these two out of position. As we then turn the up face clockwise, it's these two on the left hand side. So then as we return the right and the inside right counterclockwise, it's all four in position. Now we have our yellow centers complete and our white centers complete, we need to repeat for the other colors. I'm gonna go for red next. Put the red on the up face and find our next red centerpiece. There's one here. We we'll take the face, so it's in the bottom right of our centerpieces. We create a non-red piece here in the top left. And we follow that algorithm again. Right, inside right, clockwise, up, clockwise, and the right and inside right, counterclockwise. We have two pieces together. Let's find our next red piece. It's here. It's already in the bottom right. Create space that's non-red in the top left. 
and we use the other algorithm for when it's on the down face. So that's right, inside right, clockwise, twice, up, clockwise, and then the right, inside right, clockwise, twice. Now have three of our pieces in position. We find our last piece. It's here on the down face again. So rotate the face so it's in the bottom right. Create space in the top left. And we follow that algorithm again. Right and inside right, clockwise twice. Up, clockwise. And then the right and inside right, clockwise twice. We now have our red centers complete. Now we have our red complete, we need to know which way to position the cube. So if we put the yellow on top, with the red facing us, we know that green is going to be to the right. Look at this image here to see which way to position the cube. Green is going to be to the right. We would have one center in position. Position up on the up face, and we find our next green. It's here. We take the face, so our green centers in the bottom right, and we have a non-green piece in the top left. So we follow that algorithm. Right and inside right, clockwise, up, clockwise, and then the right and the inside right, counterclockwise. Now I have two of our green centers in position. We find our next one, it's here. Rotate it so it's in the bottom right. Create a space in the top left. Follow that algorithm again. Right and inside right, clockwise. Up, clockwise. And the right and the inside right, counterclockwise. Last one to find now. It's on the down face. It's already in the bottom right corner. Create the space in the top left do the algorithm for the down face. So it's right and inside right, clockwise twice, up, clockwise, and then the right and the inside right, clockwise twice. Green centers are now complete. Last one to do now. Now we have our green centers complete and our reds and our yellows and our whites. We just need to complete the blue and the orange centers. We know that red is opposite to orange, so this is going to be our orange centers. Once we complete our orange centers, it will also complete our blue centers. So we put the orange on the up face. We find our next orange center to move into position. Rotate the face so it's in the bottom right corner of the center pieces. Create a non-orange piece on the top left. Follow that algorithm again. Right and inside right clockwise, up, clockwise, and then the right and the inside right, counterclockwise. Just have one orange piece left to get into the center pieces. So we move that so it's in the bottom right corner. Turn the up face so we've got a non-orange piece in the top left. Follow that algorithm for one last time. Right and inside right, clockwise, up, clockwise, and the right and inside right, counterclockwise. As you can see, our oranges are now complete, and so are our blues. And all our centerpieces are now correct.